Hi folks, Marty here. Today we're going to have a look at um, different strumming patterns. Okay, so strumming patterns is what you need to know when you're playing through different songs that have different timings, different rhythms and so on. Uh, so today we're just going to look at uh, a simple um, chord sequence or chord progression and then I'm going to show you different ways you can go about strumming that. Okay, so First up, uh, I'll show you the four chords that we're going to use today, okay? So first of all, you have your C chord, so you can play that with your third finger, like that, okay? And then the next chord is your A minor, and I play that with my second finger, and then I keep the second finger on because I'm going to go into the F chord now, okay? And then I want to keep this first finger on here because I'm going to take you into the G7 chord, which is if you drop that second finger down and then you put your third finger on the first string, that's a G7 chord. Got your C, your A minor, your F and your G7. Okay, so just go through that little chord sequence with me. It's nice and slowly. So third finger. Second finger for the A minor, keep it on, and then put your first finger on the second string for your F, and then move the second finger down to the third string, and then put on your third finger, okay? And then what I do is I lift these two off and I slide that in like this, and then I just go through that chord sequence again. That's good. So what we're going to do now is uh, we're just going to start off very slowly and the strum pattern we're using is just down, 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 down. Okay, so we're doing two down strums for each chord. Okay, so it'll be like this. First one will be like down, 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 down. Down, 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 down. And you see the way the thumb is just strumming down, okay? I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm not going down or up at this point. It's all just very basic down strums, okay? So I'm going to play through that chord sequence with you. And I want you just to try and match my speed. And I will get a little bit faster. Um, and that's a good way of uh, putting you along with me, okay? So from the beginning, here we go. Was all at the same speed and I know it gets a little bit exhausting when you're uh, trying to learn to do this but uh, do that uh, through with me that first little bit there and then have a wee breath you know just uh, get yourself together and then this time we're going to go into it and we're just going to do it a little bit faster okay so here we go bit faster okay and we're gonna do it a little bit faster again ready There's not too many songs that you'll play that'll go much faster than that when it's uh, using those uh, chords in that sequence or in that progression, okay? So that was just a basic down-down strum, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to 
mix it up a little we're going to do a down up down up down up okay so almost sounds like a bit of a gallop but we'll use those same four chords just um, now that you've gotten used to them okay so it'll be like this so um, the first time when we did that uh, the first uh, pattern and sequence there uh, we were just doing using the, the, the fleshy part of our thumb and just letting it we weren't striking it down hard we're just the thumb was just falling from one string to the other like this okay so what we're going to do now we're going to do a down strum with the thumb and then we're going to come up with the finger okay so in this strum pattern what we're doing is we're just using the flesh of the fingers we're not using the nails at this point okay and what that does it gives us a nice soft sound but if I use the back of my nails um, you'll get a more brighter more vibrant sound which if you were playing faster that would be the thing that you'd be looking at doing okay so I'm just going to demonstrate what that would sound like okay so first up you've got just the, the fleshy parts of the fingers okay okay but if I was using the backs of my nails okay I'd be like this here where it sounds a bit brighter and a bit sharper which is fine if you're doing something that's quite fast you know and you want the volume okay but if you're playing a soft ballad or something uh, gentle you, you want to use those nice uh, fleshy parts of the fingers just for that softer feel okay so this uh, next strum pattern is going to be down down up down down up okay and I'll give you a little sample of how that goes so down down up down down up down down up down down up okay so I'm going to do that a little bit slower that's down down up down down up down down up down down up okay so we're going to do that twice and then we'll change chord okay remember it's just the same four chords over and over again to allow you uh, to practice these different strong patterns here we go down down up down down up change chord down down up down down up change chord down down up down down up down We'll do that a wee bit faster this time, okay? Here we go. So that's our down, down, up, down, down, up strum. Okay, so what we're going to do now is uh, down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, and this is also uh, referred to as the island strum. Okay, so just to break that down, using the same four chords again, it'll be down, down, up, up, down, up. A wee bit slower. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, and again, down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, so that's the pattern. We're going to do that twice, okay? Here we go. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then we'll change chord, A minor. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Change chord to F. Down, down, up, up, down. Down up, change chord, G7, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then we're going to go back to the C. And this time um, I'm not going to say down, down, up, up, down, up. I'm just going to uh, play it through for you. But remember, 
At the start of each pattern, you change chord first, okay? So here we go. This time I'm just going to do that a little bit faster. This is a quite a, a sophisticated strum and once you, once you get your head around that um, and you start playing songs that has that particular pattern in it, it'll make your playing sound so much better and so much more professional. So here we go, we're just going to play it through just a little bit faster. Remember, uh, take that whole pattern and play that pattern twice. So here we go. Down, down. the the island strum the down down up up down up okay so there's not too many strum patterns left uh, the next one is going to be down down up up down 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 up up down and this particular pattern is very close to the last one uh, the only difference is um, the last one would have an extra up strum um, and just to remind you it's down down up up down up this one is down, down, up, up, down. So we're not following it with the up strum, okay? So let's give it a go. So down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, change chord. Down, up, up, down. Okay, so the last um, strum pattern that I'm going to do today is down, up, down, down, up, down. Okay, so it'll be something like this. Down, up, down, 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 down, up, down. So what I'm going to do now is play that a little bit faster for you. So see if you can keep up with me. Same chords again. Okay, so that's all the strum patterns we're going to cover today. And they happen to fall within the 4-4 timing of music. So any song that you play that has that timing, 
Um, you can play those chord patterns and strumming techniques to those. In another video, we will cover 3-4 timing, um, which is more your waltz. And we'll have a look at those chords in another video. But for now, keep on practicing those chord drills and get your speed up and get those chord changes nice and neat. And remember, you, you do the strum pattern, you change chord, and then you begin the strum pattern again. And do that until you're able to get those chord changes all nice and smooth. And you can do that particular pattern to a lot of different songs um, that have that same progression in it. So keep practicing that, and until next time, keep strumming and keep her lit.